Your confidence in God gives you the strength that you never thought you had. Who's back? Your girl is back with another video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. To all the new subscribers, welcome, welcome. To my returning subscribers, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do click on that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell to notify you when I post another video. So I am back with another topic today, and today's topic is confidence building your confidence in Christ. First, let us start by defining what confidence is, guys, right? I found this other definition that I really love and I, you know, truly, I, I, I stick by. Um, it says that um, confidence is not, isn't walking in a room and thinking you're better than everyone, but it's walking in a room, not having to compare yourself to anyone. So today I'll be sharing scriptures, scriptures that talk about confidence in Christ, talk about building your confidence in Christ. Um, you know, there's diff we have different places that we, we lack confidence, guys. Um, you know, and there's places where we put our confidence where we shouldn't, you know. Um, but I'm here to talk about building your confidence in Christ because that's where I've built my confidence. That's where I've built my confidence and I wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to help those who struggle with confidence to actually, you know, start building your confidence in Christ. Christ got you. Like, Christ, like, loves you so much that he wants you to rely on him. He wants you to trust him and to have confidence in who he is. He's your father and he will never leave you nor forsake you, ever. So the first verse that I'll be sharing with you guys is um, Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not condemned you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified or dismayed, intimidated, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Um, Guys, you know, this this one speaks on strength, you know. Um, when you're not, when you're not confident in, in your capabilities as a person, um, you tend to question so many things about you. You tend to look at other things that break your confidence even worse. But having confidence in Christ is so beautiful because the Bible says, be strong and courageous and be not intimidated for wherever you go, God is with you. You know, um. He will give you all the strength that you need in any situation. Wherever you enter and you feel that you don't have confidence enough, you know, trust in God. Wherever you go, he is there with you. you the second verse that I'll be sharing with you guys says that um, blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts and relies on the Lord and whose hope and confidence expectations is the Lord that's Jeremiah 17 verse 7 um so here it says that blessed is a man who relies on the Lord guys it's so beautiful how God wants you to rely on him because the, he knows that there's so much more that he can do do for you there's so many things that he wants to do for you and he wants you to trust him and he wants you to believe that He's got you no matter what. Stop putting your tr confidence in people, guys. You know, um, people will, some people will disappoint you. But God will never, God will never disappoint you. He'll never leave you, nor forsake you, and never leave you alone and sad and down and in, in, in darkness. He's always there for you. That's why he always wants you to rely on him and to believe that he is there for you. So rely on God. Confidence in God. Build your confidence in Christ. For you get strength. You know, you are blessed because you rely on him. You know, you are blessed. Blessed is a man who relies on the Lord. You know, so the third verse that I'll be sharing with you guys is Psalms 27 verse 3 that talks about 
Though an army encamped against me, my heart will not fear. Though war arise against me, even in this I am confident. Well, guys, um, it says though an army encamped against me, I shall not fear for the Lord is with me. Guys, my confidence in God has grown so much that, you know, no matter what happens in my life, I trust God, Wuti. He is with me. I trust God that he's guiding my every move and my every step that I make, right? And that he is protecting me through every situation that I go through, that I need to trust him and believe in him and know that he is there for me, you know, that I should not fear but trust in him. Your confidence in God gives you the strength that you never thought you had. You go through things and you feel that you're going to be stuck in that thing forever. But confidence in God reassures you that you will get through it no matter what. It may not be a quick process of like, you go through whatever and then tomorrow it's poof, it's gone. But the way that you are during the process of this situation, having confidence in who created you. So my next verse that I'll be sharing today is that uh, it's from Psalms 139 verse 13 to 14. It says, for you formed my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give you thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows very well. As that verse talks more about you, as you were knitted in your mother's womb. He knew what he was creating when he created you. Having confidence in God allows you to know your worth. And to know that you are beautiful no matter who says what. Guys, we need to stop allowing people to define what beauty is. God is the one that defines what beauty is. The Bible says that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. His works are so good and your soul needs to know that. Have confidence in God because that confidence allows you to celebrate who you really are. Guys, think about it. God gave each and every one of us a purpose to live out. The way he trusted you with a purpose means that there is greater power. There is greater strength within you. So much so that he decided to give out a purpose to you and entrust it to you because he knew that you are capable of doing it. He knew that you can do it and you can fulfill it just the way he wants you to. You know? Having confidence in God knows that beauty, like beauty can be defined by society, but when you have confidence in Christ, you know that your beauty is defined by God and that whatever another person says, guys, don't be phased by what people say about you. Honestly speaking, like people will talk, people will have their opinions about you, people will have something to say about you that is mean or whatever. But when your confidence is in Christ, it won't phase you. Like, it won't bother you at all. People, you'll just be like, okay, y'all need to, y'all speak and say what y'all want to say. But my confidence, my beauty, my definition of beauty comes from Christ. God said that I am wonderfully and fearfully made. So I will live by that and not allow other people to shake me. You know? And that is having confidence in Christ with who you are. God put a purpose in your life for a reason. And you are the way you look for a reason. He wouldn't change you for anything. He never made a mistake, baby. Whatever you have within you is supposed to be there. You understand what I mean? Whatever you go through is supposed to happen at that time because God knows the purpose that he has for you. So have confidence in Christ. Build your confidence on Christ because there, that's when you realize how much of a beautiful human being you are. A beautiful creation of God, you know, that is brought here to serve a purpose greater than the world, greater than what humankind says things should be and whatever, you know. So that's what I, I, I just wanted to say about that, that trust and believe and have confidence in Christ. My next verse is from Proverbs 3, verse 25 to 26. It says, 
Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the storm, the wicked, when it comes, since you will be blameless. For the Lord will be your confidence, firm and strong, and will keep you foot from being caught in a trap. Having confidence in God protects you from so many things. It protects you from negative thoughts because you trust God and you trust who he is to you and you trust that you are his child, you are his creation and that you are beautiful the way you are. Like seriously, look at yourself, lady. Look at yourself, man. Like you guys are beautiful and you're handsome. Don't let people tell you otherwise, you know? If you feel that you are down and about and you don't have the strength to go through life, go to God, kneel down on, to God and say, God, I don't know what to do here. I am strengthless. Like I don't have strength to deal with this. And go to God and say, God, I'm finding my confidence in you. I'm trusting you with my life and everything that is going on in my life. And I'm trusting that you've got me. So yeah, guys, um, so start building your confidence in Christ. Start building your confidence in who created you because he knows you best. He loves you just the way you are with your flaws and all. Because putting your trust in people, people will bring out some flaws and make you feel so bad for who, like for who you are. And now you end up pretending to be someone you're not. Whereas you could be embracing who God created you to be so that you can actually accomplish the things that God has for you. Um, you know, I think some of the things that happen in our lives um, happen for a reason, yes, most definitely. But some of the things need, we need to be honest with ourselves is that we've put our trust in people and we've believed that uh, people are the ones that determine how confident you are or people determine how beautiful you are. No, God determines that and God is the all-knowing you know um he knows you better than anyone as I've said like he knows you like like <laughs> like he knows you really well and he knows your flaws and he knows when you'll mess up he knows when you'll mess up but he still loves you and he still wants you as his child and he still wants you to rely on him so people once you do a mistake they they judge you for it they 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 persecute you for it but when you trust God and you put your confidence in Christ, no matter what you do, no matter the mistake that you've made, he still wants you. He still loves you. He still forgives you. You need to ask for forgiveness in God and say, Wuti, God, I did this and I am sorry. For, ask for forgiveness. Confess your sins to God and he will love you and he will accept you and he will forgive you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you once again. And that's what I had to share about confidence today, guys. I hope that you guys... Um, have learned uh how to build your confidence in christ and i hope that this video helps you to grow your confidence in christ you know um god loves you guys like know that for sure god loves you no matter what um you know with those pimples on your face with that zit on your lip whatever it is you know don't let people determine your your inner beauty and your outer beauty your outer beauty let god be the one that does that and trust that god knows you best than anyone and that you have a purpose that god has put in you and it is in there for a reason and you're gonna accomplish so much greater things in life but i need you to put your trust in god and believe that christ is there for you that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope that you guys have gotten some help on confidence and building your confidence in christ um please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click on that notification bell if you haven't that will notify you every time i post a new video and guys i will definitely try to post videos every week um i'll try and post uh videos every week uh so that you guys can get a lot of more content and more topics um so guys do please subscribe and like and comment below guys i would actually love to hear which aspect of your confidence have you been struggling with meaning in your life uh whatever aspect that is do comment below and let us just have a chat you know in the comment section so check you guys see you guys on the next video